Welcome back, Plant Based Ninja here. Plant Based 411, you are back. If you're thinking about liking communities, please like the video and subscribe, especially if you're thinking about going plant based. My name is Matthew, also known as Plant Based, as I already said it before, Ninja. Alright, so, guys, today we're gonna do, yeah, Blueberry Delight Smoothie. I like the name of it, and that is our name now. Alright, so, let's get to it. Four ingredients, that is it. This one is absolutely phenomenal. Here we go, we're gonna just break into it. I'm gonna cut out a lot of my dialogue that I usually do. All right, you can see the bananas over there. There's more, we have more of them. All right, so, first ingredient this morning, guess what, it's bananas, not a big surprise there. You know what the banana looks like, and I'm just being silly for you. Alright, so, gonna go ahead and put them in here. While we're doing that, hey Google, how are bananas nutritious? <sighs> hey Google, how are bananas nutritious? According to Wikipedia, a banana is an elongated edible fruit, botanically a berry, produced by several kinds of large herbaceous flowering plants in the genus Musa. In some countries, bananas used for cooking may be called plantains, distinguishing them from dessert bananas. Hey Google, how are hemp seeds nutritious? On the website medicalnewstoday.com, they say hemp seeds contain plenty of protein, healthful fatty acids, and fiber. Hemp seeds are also a healthful source of vitamin E and minerals, such as calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, and zinc. People also sometimes ask me, what does hemp seeds do for your health? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. Alright, playing the next on bedroom display. Okay. All right, so this was eight or nine bananas. You just do it till it fills up. It's very, very quick and easy. Now, what we're doing is we're doing hemp hearts. We're gonna do two tablespoons of those. Hey Google, how are blueberries nutritious? On the website blueberry.org, they say blueberries are a healthy, stress-free food. You get fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, manganese and potassium in every handful of blueberries at just 80 calories per cup. They're also low in sodium and have virtually no fat. Alright, with the blueberries, so we got internet bananas, we have two tablespoons of hemp seeds, and what are we doing next? I gotta tell you, our still part is gonna be coming, but not yet. So our blueberries, we're just gonna do as many as we want to. Blueberry delight. Put as many in that's going to delight you. So, how many delights me is about that many? Because blueberries, I gotta tell you, they're really sweet. They're only mixing with banana and water. And I don't like to overdo the blueberry. And check out my hand. That's a blueberry hand for me. All right. You all start drinking these smoothies, you're gonna have so much energy, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. You're gonna get up in the morning. You're gonna wanna actually, even if you hate cleaning your house, you're gonna wanna clean it. If you don't feel like working out, all you have to do is start working out, you'll get the energy to do it. Cleaning, even a cleaner lifestyle, easy peasy. Once you get the real food, so you can get the real energy. That's why food is 90% of being able to heal yourself because joining a gym, that's for people that have, that have the energy to do it. And are killing themselves. All right, so. Oh, oh man, I'll leave the blueberries. What am I doing? All right, I should also leave these over here. Anyways, I'm talking all that. Of course I am. All right, guys, so. Next ingredient, water. Distilled water. Only water I drink. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into about the uh, about the 32 this time, maybe a little bit under. So, uh, a little bit under. Somewhere between 24 and 32. Hey Google, is distilled water healthy to drink? On the website BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com, they say the distillation process is a natural process 
much like the Earth's water cycle, that removes impurities from water, leaving water in its purest form. As no potentially harmful disinfectants or other chemicals are added during the process, it is considered safe to drink. People also sometimes ask me, are there any benefits to drinking distilled water? Do you want to hear the answer? Yes. On the website medicalnewstoday.com, they say, reducing the risk of disease, distillation removes waterborne pathogens. Most waterborne disease causing bacteria do not survive distillation. My opinion, when it comes to water, distilled water is a flat taste. It has no taste. When you drink the other water that's in the store, it's in the smaller bottles, it's not going to be healthy for you, potentially. And... Yeah, they're putting minerals in there that your body can't break down. They're also putting some fluoride in there. And that fluoride is not NOT healthy for you. It doesn't matter what they tell you. You want to drink distilled. Your minerals that they brainwashed you and thinking that they're going to, you're going to get it from your water. And mind you, you can get good minerals if you're drinking well, natural well water. That you actually walk into the well and get it. Or natural spring water. You walk to the spring and get it. But if you cannot do that, you're going to get distilled water. You can buy it in the big gallons or you can buy it otherwise. It should be the only thing in your house. You should be doing a water flush. I'll be doing one later today. I call those my water mukbangs. And when it comes to water, you should be drinking to be optimal. The average person that is health unhealthy, which, you know, if you're unhealthy and you want to become healthy, you need to think about the fact that you should be drinking a, wa a gallon of water to right now. That's what they, that's what they, <laughs> that's what the very sick society tells you. Stats are based on the very sick person. You want to be aiming towards one to seven gallons of water. Seven gallons seems too extreme. If you want to do something less extreme, aim for the two, aim for the three. All right, guys. And water, body has to clean out the same level. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit medium and we're going to hit start. And action. Hey Google, are blueberries good for fighting high blood pressure? On the website healthline.com, they say berries, especially blueberries, are rich in natural compounds called flavonoids. One study found that consuming these compounds might prevent hypertension and help lower blood pressure. Smells so good. Blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are easy to add to your diet. 
you all have been following me for a little while, you know that when they say May, that's when you have to listen real close. Because when they say it may do something, that's where the secrets are hidden. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Good golly. I gotta try it. Yeah, that's that's really good. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Glass number two. This one's gonna be for Darling. The time that it took to peel these bananas. Very minimal. <clears throat> so the time that it took to peel these ba the, the bananas, the time that it took to... I mean, if you, if you think about really what happened here. The time that it took to peel the bananas, to put them into the blender, the instant ace, the time that it took to take a handful of blueberries, the time that you're watching me, what? That is the time that it took except for the back. With the bananas, it probably took about two more minutes. But yeah, absolutely delicious smoothie. Really, really healthy. Uh, I want you to think about how it can, it can transition your life. If you think about you know, wanting to go plant-based, if you think about wanting to go in a smoothie or direct, uh, healthier direction, you know, Chris, we're all gonna take baby steps. Right now, I do want you to know that you are perfectly imperfect, just like me. I am perfectly imperfect, improving every day. Don't make, try and make eat healthier any more difficult than you need to. Just go to it one day at a time, be really, really positive, and the, and the cleaner you eat, I guarantee you, the better you're gonna feel. Long term, you're gonna be a whole new person. Now that you're not perfectly imperfect right now, we're perfect. Let's, let's, let's catch another word, we're perfect. But we all have ways that we can go into that we can improve ourselves, you know? So, anyway, uh, you see how easy it was. If you're still trying to think of reasons why you don't have time to be able to get healthy, I don't have time, I don't have time, well that's because either you just really don't want to do it or it's not in your top 10 priorities. Because your top 10 priorities, that's the place that you're going to put your time into. This right here, I want you to think about something. This smoothie, I don't mean to be as the lecture, okay? But this smoothie right here, if I already go ahead and make two of these, that just means I already have the ingredients out. And then I can put these into a mason jar such as this one, and I can put it in the fridge and I can make enough of these for two days, okay? If you take a look behind me, I've got about 40 bananas. So anyway, if I didn't lecture you, my name wouldn't be Plant Based Ninja. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, y'all have a beautiful day. Love you. I will check back with you later.